Yo, what's going on today, fam? So we are back again today, and today we're gonna be going over how to sea foam your Duramax. So I got my 01 LB7 Duramax here, and today we are gonna be sea foaming it. Um, so I'm not sure if my injectors are on the way out. I haven't uh, been able to test my balance rate, so, but I am getting smoke out the exhaust. You know, like the truck still starts up fine and everything, but there definitely is a lot of smoke coming from the exhaust. So that could be turbo sales, it could be a number of things. But for right now, I know for a fact that the fuel filter, which is, so if you're looking at the front of your truck, your fuel filter is on the left hand side. So it's, it'll be right here. It'll be hanging off the left hand side of the engine or the passenger side of the engine. So fuel filter is right here. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be uh, sea foaming this, but the way that uh, other people at Sea Foam recommend you do this is by putting it in the fuel filter itself directly. Um, sea Foam is a petroleum based uh, cleaning agent, so it won't harm your engine. Like your engine can technically run on Sea Foam with no issue. So this is what we're gonna be using right here. The Seafoam Auto Marine Fleet is for gas and diesel engines right here. Cleans injectors, cars, whatever, 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 whatever. So since we have not changed our fuel filter and we don't know when the last time it's changed, I have a brand new AC Delco TP3018. I believe this is for all Duramaxes, but just make sure you double check. I will leave a link to this in the description. It comes with the new fill filter here, and then it also comes with new seals that you'll need. Um, also, very important to get your fill filter off, you're gonna need a set of these. I like these power built units because they're adjustable to pretty much all sizes of filters, so they will be handy just to have in the garage regardless. These are like $20 off of Amazon. I will also have this link there, along with the C foam. Um, I have the Lucas Oil because really, you, uh, so really you're probably gonna need about two cans of sea foam, but I already had this Lucas oil So I'm just gonna stick with that one, but um, We're gonna pour the sea foam directly into our fill filter and run the truck off that and then The rest of the sea foam and then we'll put in the gas tank along with this Lucas right there So first things first, we're gonna remove the fill foam. So my particular truck was a service fleet vehicle I don't know if all these trucks have like this little cutout here to access the fill filter I'm assuming not because it seems like something they did but I'm going to be accessing my fill filter uh, from the inner fender well, um, which makes it a hell of a lot easier. So take these power built units like this. Hopefully you guys can see. Kind of get those gripped up in there and bam, loose like that. And so once you get it loose, and then you can go ahead and do the rest hand tight. Keep in mind, you know, like you're dealing with fuel, so this could be a little bit messy. Kind of is what it is, nature of the beast, right? So I got this loose now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. One of the things I'm gonna do is, uh, once I take this out, I have a gallon jug right here, and then I have a funnel. I'm just gonna pour all that fuel inside of here because I'm gonna need that fuel uh, for my next uh, video I'm gonna be doing, which is a full GM top end cleaner. So let me get that out and then we'll pour the fuel in there and we'll go from there. So pretty much I just flipped the fuel filter upside down, side of there, I'm just letting it drain. There really wasn't that much fuel in there to be honest with you, but I just wanna let that drain out inside there just so we're not getting fuel all over the place. One thing that you will have to uh, put on the new filters this little plastic piece right there. So Once this is done draining I'm gonna go ahead and Just take that part off and then I'll reinstall it on the new one with gaskets So let me finish up this and we'll move to that part right all right y'all so Pretty much got all of the fuel drain most of it. So now you got to take off this little part This isn't the best tool for this, but it's what I have you don't want to put too much pressure on this plastic because it can break especially after all these years oh don't break on me please <laughs> the my truck there we go nice and easy so once that's loose just want to take this plastic piece out bam like that so you're going to want to take off this old o-ring because the new kit comes with a new one So 
So this is the new one right here. As you can see, the new O-ring right here. So what we're going to do is, so before I put on this new O-ring, I'm just going to want to get a little bit of diesel uh, just to lubricate the new one. So, you see, just a little bit of lubricant before we put it on there. Now, let's go ahead and put that bad boy down like that. Make sure it's clean. Take your new filter. Just put a little bit of diesel around that rim just so the O-ring doesn't tear. And go ahead and start screwing this in. It doesn't need to be super tight. Get it hand tight. And then I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a turn. Like that, till it's snug. Now, we are gonna take our little drain valve. Screw that bad boy back on there. Just be mindful, this is plastic. You know, it can be a little bit brittle. Honestly, it might be a good idea to replace this. I'm gonna try to find uh, the part number and link it in the description for you guys because I can see, you know, people breaking this for sure. Like, that's a, that's a no-brainer. One of the things you wanna check to make sure is that when you take off your fill filter, that the o-ring comes off with it because sometimes with filters the o-ring will get stuck to the housing but this one did come out so we're good there so what we're going to want to do is just like we did with the other o-ring there's like a little bit of diesel residue still in here so we're going to lube up this o-ring like that put that new o-ring seat it in its place now we are ready to reinstall but before we reinstall what we have to do is actually pour the sea foam directly to this uh filter you want to fill this up with, with only seafood <laughs> with only sea foam um and no other uh fuel additive so let me grab sea foam Bam, like that so you guys are going to just want to pour this sea foam straight in there It's all the way up with sea foam, just like that, right? So now that's all the way up. We're just gonna fill the rest up with diesel. Like you can prime it and it'll fill anyway, but yeah, we're just gonna fill the rest with diesel. All right, so we got that filled. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and then reinstall um, uh, this fill filter back where it goes. This thing's leaking a little bit. Nah, we're good. That's just coming from there. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and reinstall this right quick, and I'll show you the next step. All right, so new fill filter is installed. So now what you're going to do is come to the top, and there's going to be like a hexagon-shaped bleed valve. You're going to open that up. Open that up. You can either use a socket or you can use a flat head. I'm using a flat head. If yours is old and it looks like it haven't moved in a very long time, probably better use a socket to be honest. So it's just plastic like that. Now what you're going to do, come in this little pump to make sure there is no air in the system. We all good there all prime so tighten that bad boy up cool all right and so what you're going to do next is put your second uh bottle of sea foam inside of your fuel tank like i showed you guys i only had one thing of sea foam but i had already had this other um this other fuel additive so we're going to use that one instead oh service body life oh there we go Grab this, put 
put it in there. And so usually uh, these little cans treat about 20 gallons. So I'm at a half tank right now. Bang, like that. All right, so get this bad boy in, and get the truck started. Let the sea foam do its job. And we're back, I had to go grab my keys. Wait for that weight light to go off. So now we're just gonna let the truck run off the sea foam um, for a little while, warm back up. I had already been driving the car prior to this, so I didn't do this cold, but we're gonna hop in the truck and then we're gonna take it for some spirited runs uh, just to help to clean up those injectors a little bit. But yeah, let me clean up this area and then we'll get out there. All right, y'all, so I had a bit of a a wardrobe change or whatever but i did take the truck on a spirited drive i romped on her a little bit um trucks on a smooth uh still we're still uh, producing a bit more smoke than i feel it should but it's cool you know this was just a part of my plan to do along the way um and before i did my top end cleaner um and then i bought uh, for the duramax to clean out the top end clean out the injectors all that good stuff so tomorrow we'll be doing that but you know i wanted to make sure i changed my fuel filter because i feel like it's kind of no point of using a top end cleaner if your fuel filter is you know old and you know it's getting a, a contaminants and stuff like that another thing i need to do is just run out this diesel fuel because i bought this truck like three months ago and it had been sitting for three months it had been started up and stuff but it had been sitting so like the fuel is a little bit you know old or whatever so maybe just like cleaning it out putting some fresh fuel up in there along with the top end cleaner will help with, uh will help with my smoking problem i really need to know my balance rates but i don't have anything to read them at the moment but anyway if you guys need any of this stuff and want to do this yourself i'll i'll be sure to link all this stuff that i use in the description the filter the sea foam um everything um and then uh the filter remover all that stuff so yeah take it easy y'all i'm out Huh, coach